Jojo, welcome back. Thank um, you. How does it feel to, to be here permanently rather than sort of on a, on a week by week basis? Um, I'm much more at ease now. Um, it's something that I've thought about for a while and um, it's definitely the right decision for me. And speaking to the gaffer and Mildy this morning, what obviously you work with Mildy, what is it about a gaffer that, that sort of that you enjoyed or you're looking forward to working to? Well, um, he's ambitious. Um, and I think the most important thing is when you've got a manager that um, believes in your ability, um, uh, it takes the pressure off your mind also. And um, no, I've worked, I was here obviously with Mildy before and Mildy's a good guy. And um, no, I just look forward to working with both of them. And uh, what about Rennie as well? Uh, you must come across him at, at Bristol City. Tell us a bit more about your relationship with him. Yeah, well, um, obviously Reg was with the goalkeepers for a while. Um, so I've worked closely with him, so he knows what I'm about. Um, I know how he works. So, um, yeah, that's good. And I suppose a lot of fans will remember the save you made here against against Crew. Um, how, is that something that obviously you want to be replicating, you want to be doing week in, week out for the club? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think if I can emulate those sort of performances, then um, I'm sure it will contribute to a successful season. And what was it about the club that made, just like I say, you could have, could have gone sort of anywhere really. What, what was the, the selling point about Swindon that the one that made you come back? I just felt at ease when I was there. I just really enjoyed playing. Um, I think that was the most important thing. Um, it was a good bunch of lads, and um, obviously it helps when you've got good coaching staff like Milgi and uh, Reggie as well, and the, and the gaffer. So um, yeah, it's just a no-brainer. And so what are your thoughts on potentially, depending on the sort of government uh, announcements later in the sort of coming days, about having fans back and being able to play in front of? Okay, we don't know how many, but at least some fans at the ground after not playing in front of them for however long. Yeah, I think that'd be really good. Um, I think they deserve it. So obviously, it must be frustrating for them not to watch a football game. But um, no, when it's safe to do so, I'm sure the ground will be rocking when they're back in.